My name is Angel Martinez, and I'm a post-baccalaureate student at Charles Drew University of Medicine and Science. I'm looking to pursue my medical degree, and I identify as queer. Well, being the oldest of six and having um, brothers first and then my sisters towards the end and then a youngest brother who's 10, um, they were the ones who I actually confided in first. Um, before I even came out to my parents, I told myself that I would tell them first um, because though they're, they're my brothers. Um, my, my brother Caesar and Pablo were the first two to find out and I shared that with them because um, we've always had that type of relationship with each other where we we depend on, on one another. Uh, for us, it was never, I'm going to tell on you, it was like, oh, well, I, I've got your back, you got my back uh, type of growing up for us. And so when I first told them, being the oldest and I was also, you know, the first to go to college, um, I told them that like during graduation um, as a gift from, from me to them, I guess you could uh, say. Um, and I said to them, you know, I want to share something with, with both of you and, and I just, I told them. And their first reaction was, well, you're a big brother and you've done amazing things and you're, you know, you care for us, so we care for you and that doesn't matter. Um, which was a huge relief for me. Um, I'm a queer, brown, Latino man and um, it was an important aspect for me that I developed while, you know, going off to college. I, once I was able to leave East LA and actually get out was the first time that I began to really take that initiative for myself and say, okay, I really need to figure out what this identity means for me. What does me being attracted to other men mean? Um, and as I took off to college and I spent my first year there, um, I met people who were straight, I met people who were gay, um, and slowly found my niche and, and confide in people that I thought would, would really help me understand what that meant for me. Um, as I took off to college, I got to participate in a variety of uh, student organizations that were super supportive um, and that were very open-minded about um, frames of thoughts or ways of living. Uh, I'm an alumni of the Barbara Jordan Public Health Policy Scholars Program. And in that program, in that fellowship, uh, the project that I was assigned was HIV AIDS. Um, not realizing entirely what that would mean for me, I dove right into doing research and it was there and then that I realized, wait a minute, HIV and AIDS impacts black and Latino youth disproportionately. The disparity among black and Latino youth as I was looking at the data and I was like, sitting there doing my research, I was like, this is crazy. You know, the, the infection rate turnover and the zero conversion, like, it was a lot. And I was like, those are my friends, that could be me. Um, and it was in 2008 that I started really engaging and, and diving into HIV AIDS work. Um, working uh, with a community health clinic in DC, uh, La Clinica del Pueblo. And then um, coming back to LA and then uh, really taking that initiative for myself and saying that I, I really am invested in, in HIV AIDS work because of the impact, the direct impact that it had um, in my life. Uh, my best friend is HIV positive and when he first told me, um, it, it finally hit home. And the 41 list is important to me because uh, growing up I realized that there's not very many male role models. Um, one of the things that I struggled with as I was uh, traversing my way through college and just growing as a professional uh, was realizing that a lot of my mentors were women, which I was extremely indebted to and thankful to have them in my life. Um, but being able to have uh, gay Latino men be mentors or just queer men in general be mentors uh, to young people is extremely important. We don't see very many of us, whether it's because we're dealing with our sexuality or we don't want to disclose. For me, it's important to be able to share that story with other people and realize you're not there by yourself. I was and once felt that way. And I think that the importance of being able to share our stories, share our experiences, bring light to something that a lot of people think is really dark. Um, and as we realize that I'm just like the next person or my neighbor next door to me who may not share 
very many similarities, but we definitely have a lot in common at the end of the day. Uh, um, coming out, um, well, be prepared for a journey uh, <laughs> that you have no roadmap to, no idea to, and no one process is the same. And um, what I would say to someone that's that's working on coming out is is really really realize what it means to love yourself. Um, uh, one of the things that I've explored, at least for myself, is realizing what does love mean for me and how do I express love to myself um, in the manner of, you know, what am I doing, where am I going, um, what does this mean, uh, what intention am I setting when I decide to do things, um, but be patient. Hola, 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 hola.